Pittsburgh itself is a blue collar, you know, hard working, family oriented city. The Steelers reflect that as well in the way that we play, in the way that the organization is run. That's how I am as, as, as a man and as a player. I come from a blue collar family, family centered. Pittsburgh was a, a perfect fit. God definitely, you know, made it happen for a reason. What makes Minka unique, I think, is he can play all over the field. He is professional through and through, and, and when he's on your side, you feel confident. His leadership is more of a walk than talk. I'm proud to call him a brother in Christ. Jesus Christ free, this free safety. God has gifted me uh, with, with a lot for sure in my physical ability, but he's also uh, entrusted me with a lot in regards to my preparation and, and my responsibilities. Prepare as if it is an honor. You prepare as if it is a great responsibility. And then the result is reflected of your walk throughout the week. And that's kind of what I pride myself on. The faith journey is relying on God, but there's things that we got to do as well. He places things within our reach and not within our hand for a reason that require us to get closer to him in order to, to get through those things. I always pray that the, the stadium becomes a place of worship of God and not of, of men. His faith and he has a firm foundation in Christ and so you know God has given him and blessed him with the abilities and talents that he has. He truly plays for and um, you know glorifies God and all that he does and so it's so cool having a teammate like that. I feel like Mink is finding his spiritual voice on this team. Leadership, accountability, holding guys to not just the standard of football but also the standard of Jesus and he's helping guys stay in that. It's, it's leadership. I think great leaders create great leaders. My coach in high school, Coach Hanson, was great at that. Coach Saban in college was great at that. Coach T is great at that. They're winning coaches for a reason uh, because they, they hold people to a high standard, whether they like it or not. All of us become better men. And the better man you are, I believe the better player you'll be. We got a cross with the crown of thorns. And then uh, around it says, take up your cross and follow me. One of the greatest commandments is love your neighbor as yourself for a reason. When you do that, you create a peace and a softness in other people's hearts and love them as, as we would like to be loved. Break bread with them, understand them, and then we'll have opportunities to pour into them. I've had a lot of time to reflect on my journey, on my, on my faith walk. And the story of Job is a guy that had everything and had everything taken away from him. But at the end of the day, he still praised. God showed him the entire universe and said, who are you to, to question my, my ways? My identity is, is, is tied up in being a son of God, and if I lose sight of that, then I'm, I'm gonna struggle through this journey. Every day is a fight, every day is a battle. I gotta lean on him, I gotta trust in him. I'm a young man, I'm still learning, I'm still growing. The only thing that I know is for sure is, is Jesus, is Christ, is that I'm forgiven, is that I'm loved, that uh, you know I have a savior in him, so I get to fight with him and in him.